Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick detail 360 frontal install. Today I'm going to be installing this gorgeous silky straight hair that I got in the links. Two 28 inch bundles, one 26 inch bundle, and the frontal is 20 inches. So if you want to know exactly how I installed this hair, stay tuned. So the first thing you want to do when you're installing your frontals, 360 frontals, whatever you have, is pull back your baby hairs. You want to make sure you pin them back because nowadays these companies are plucking the frontals for you, which is leaving a lot of baby hairs out. And you want to make sure you don't cut those baby hairs when you start to cut the lace around the perimeter. Now, when you do start to cut the lace around the perimeter, what I do is, for the hairline, I do cut right exactly to the hair, but when you have a 360 frontal, you also have lace on the inside perimeter of the frontal, and when you cut that lace, you want to make sure that you leave a little bit of lace left so you have leverage to sew on, so you don't want to cut how you cut it in the front. You definitely want to leave at least a couple, a couple of centimeters so that you can sew onto, and so that when you take the lace off, and you're cutting it, you'll be able to have lace left. So now at this point, what you see me doing is applying some makeup to the bottom of my lace. I do this because I choose not to bleach my knots anymore. Bleaching knots makes your knots very fragile, which can lead to your frontal, your 360 frontal balding really quickly. So I do not suggest to bleach the knots anymore. So now at this point, I put the frontal on and it's time to start sewing. Now when I sew my frontal down, I use two different needles at the same time. I do this because to me, it helps make it tighter. So what you're gonna see me do is pull really tight on one side and start sewing down. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to take my other needle and I'm going to pull down on the opposite side and sew down and stop. And then what I'm going to do is connect it. I do this because like I said, it makes it tighter and with a 360 frontal, it's going to be a lot tighter than a frontal anyways. I do this step with a frontal too, but when you have a 360 frontal, this way helps make it glueless. I do not have to use got to be glue, glue tape, or anything like that with a 360 frontal, and that is why I prefer 360 frontals over frontals. So now we're finally at the last step. I'm just simply going to sew these bundles in and then I will get to the final results and tell you exactly what I think about this hair. So stay tuned. it it's c-h-o-c hair so maybe choke choke hair something like that but i honestly must say even though i don't wear straight all the time this is definitely the best straight hair i've ever gotten period look at that it feel it really is so silky i cannot i'm gonna be doing this the whole video i cannot stop running my hands through this hair it is so pretty and it is very full for me only using three bundles i did use most of the three bundles this is all i have left this is all i cut i only cut my bundles when i get to the very end so this is all that i have left even with cutting just up here i'm still literally not getting any shedding at all none even running my fingers through the cut bundle i'm not getting any shedding so these bundles were definitely constructed well the weft is very very sturdy and you can see just look at that shine on this hair look at that absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous um I'm just, I don't know, me and straight hair, I have a really have a love-hate relationship with it. I probably only wear straight hair a couple times out of the year because I just got a huge head, y'all. So I don't really, I mean, I'm glad that this frontal came parted like this because, yeah. 
I got a big forehead. There will definitely be another video about this hair because I want to see if it can hold a curl, which it probably won't because not saying that this hair is bad, but usually straight hair, even if you're doing like a real person with sh super straight hair, their hair doesn't keep a curl. So this hair, I wouldn't expect it to keep a curl, but just so I can show you guys, I probably probably will try to wand curl it just to see what happens. I'm positive it won't stay. Maybe a flexi rod set might stay a little longer. Just let it sit and set for a long time. I feel like that'll be better than trying to put curls in this hair. Curls in this hair. And the frontal itself is pretty much pre-plucked in the front if you want to. Let me show you. Like over here, there's really no baby hairs out. So what I would do is literally just separate it, which I'll probably do eventually and pull out this cut it up so it's even just to make more baby hair and you can also part this any other way I didn't set the hair like if I parted it right now it won't stay because this part right here it was kind of I guess it's kind of like a natural part this is the part that came in it so it comes with a side part but if I wanted to part it I can this is not glued down with anything um that's the one thing I do like with 360 frontals is that you don't have to use the got to be glued, glue tape or gel or anything. I mean, some people still will, but because you can make it super tight on your head, you don't have to do any of that. Now, as you can see how this is popped up right here, I would have to get it wet um, and wrap my hair so it can mold down. But I absolutely love so, this hair. So, uh, yes, if you're interested in this hair, definitely be sure to check out the links below. Like I said, this hair is from CHOC Hair. Um, fast shipping, beautiful hair. They have a lot of different varieties. I believe they even have units. So, definitely check them out. Look at y'all. Look, I can't stop running my fingers through it. <laughs> definitely check them out. But until next time, I will see y'all later. Stay tuned for more videos.